How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at the X12 5.1 inch 1000 games console right here. This was sent to me by Banggood and I'm going to have some affiliate links in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Let's go ahead and look at this box though. On the side right here if we focus in you can see that this is the white version and is the X12 version. I believe that's a little bit better than the 9X version. And then on this side we have some more depictions of the console. It says 5.1 inch. Handheld game console supports a maximum of a 32 gig TF card and that's an additional purchase. So it looks as though we can put some ROMs on here which is pretty cool. If we look at the top, focus in, it says it can play games, music, film, audio, and record uh, audio as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about. Has a bit of a uh, clamshell design on the box. If we turn it down a little bit, you can see that it comes in a protective cardboard sleeve and has some documentation. Let's go ahead and slide that out. Set the console to the side for now. So right here is the little accessory booklet. And then it looks as though we have some cords in here. So we have one that's in a little plastic bag. Let's open that up. So it comes with some standard looking headphones. And then it also comes with a USB charging cable. It's the uh, old style kind of PS3 one. Go ahead and slide this out of the sleeve. And you know what? This reminds me exactly of a PSP, kind of like a PSP, but also a PS Vita as well, kind of like a mixture of both. Let's go ahead and slide this out of its little sleeve. Let's go ahead and focus in. Has a decent weight to it, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel cheap. And if we focus in down here, you can see that it has a USB, a TV out port, headphone jack. This is where you can put your micro SD, or as they call it, the TF card. We have a reset button. And then on the top right here, we have the volume button, the microphone, and the on and off switch. If we rotate it towards the back, it says portable multimedia player, and it looks as though we have some speaker grills on the backside, along with a small, what looks to be camera. All right. And then the screen itself actually looks pretty nice, has a nice little kind of matte feel to it. Might have a screen protector on it already, I'm not too sure. It says escape, start and select. And then we have some joysticks that feel exactly like the PlayStation Portable. Not gonna lie, like the original PSP, it feels like. Which, I actually was a pretty big fan of that, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if there's any charge. Alright, so here we are in the menus, and the screen actually looks pretty nice, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm not sure how to change it to English, but... Uh, not really an issue, given the fact that the thumbnails are pretty self-exclamatory. We have um, the featured games up here, it looks like. And then if we go here, we have a list of uh, kind of folders and categories of different games that are inside of here. And then we have some video on here as well. So we can select that. Seems to play the video pretty well. Let's go to the audio next. Let's 
and I don't want to get copy striked, but it seems to play audio fine as well. Let's go back. And then we also have the camera, which I'm sure is probably not great, but uh, let's go ahead and see. And it actually works pretty good. I mean, for, you know, a handheld console, I'd probably say this is about as good as like the 3DS. There we go. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, I'm not gonna lie. And go back. And then I believe this is the gallery. It gives an example of some pictures that you can actually put on here. Let's go back again. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the games that they have on here. So this looks like Street Fighter. Let's go ahead and start it up. Or it's called The King of Fighters. All right, now we're loading in. Yeah, I'm not doing too well at this. I've never really uh, played any games like this before. But it seems to play them pretty well. Not having any issues kind of going in there. And uh, I lost. So there we go. Not too bad, I'm going to be honest. And uh, the screen is actually pretty nice. The build quality actually feels pretty decent as well. Um, I wish there was an easier option to change it to English. All right, just a quick little interjection in the middle of the video. This actually can be set to English. You just have to scroll over to the side, which I didn't realize you could do. Go to settings, all the way down to system, and it will be the first option that allows you to set it to English. So yeah, this can be used in English. The rest of the video, I am gonna be going through the UI in Chinese, but uh, I still was able to show everything that this device is about. So let's go ahead and continue to the rest of the video. But I do think since you can put in your own card for probably uh, emulation, this is a great device to kind of mess around with stuff like that. I'm going to try that out later, and I'll give you guys some updates whether or not it ended up working. But uh feels good in the hands and uh, does what it says it does, and I think that's all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. If you download the Banggood app, you can get 10% off coupon, I believe. So, yeah. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.